Okay, so I promised I'd do a quick video of the, um, there's a 7760, uh, very much like the 7610 in operation uh, and manuals, but um, selectivity, connectivity is absolutely fantastic. One of the best radios I've used, and I've used them all, including the 7851. So that's the radio. Um, literally just landed th this afternoon after lunch is the PW2 amp. Um, I will say setting up when you when you set the CIV uh, in the in the um, the PW2, you have to set it up in two places on the antenna side for setting up and the input side. If you don't do both, it won't work with the radio. That threw me a bit, but when I realised what I had to do, I, I set up the CV in both places. It works straight away. Uh, I can switch the radio on and off. I can band select. I can do everything. I've set up the ALC. So I've just got the radio on FM at the moment on, on 40, so you can see output. And uh, there you go, 1KW, 1KW, SWR, no problem. And that's on the long wire. Um, there's the amp there, little icon cap. Um, and there's the 7760. I'm in the downstairs shack and I'm relocating upstairs to a larger room because I need the space. So half of my kit's down here and a bit messy in the corner and half of it is is upstairs. So LDD tuner, not in line. Um, I need switching off actually because it's not in use at the moment. I'm literally using the tuner on the radio, uh, on the amp, sorry, which I don't really need um, because the wire is, is actually tuned on, on 40 uh, and a lot of other bands now. Quickly showing the menus, but it's a learning curve for me. Um, I go in here, uh, yeah, I can set, go antenna, and if you go into each one of these, you can um, name the antenna, you can change the picture from a Yagi to what, lots of, lots of things you can do. Um, go into the exciter side, and again, there's loads of things in there you, you can do. Uh, setting it up once I'd actually got my CV correct uh, was was very easy and setting up the ALC was a straightforward adjustment obviously from the ICOM radio um, to the PW2 very very easy and um, straightforward and obviously this this is a quite a complex amplifier you can literally put it's got two inputs for two radios different radios all the same six antenna ports and you, you can connect any radio to it it's all in the manual how to set it up read the manual because i don't normally and uh, i needed to this time uh yeah very good um once i get on air operating with it um i'll, I'll, do, I'll do another video but this is literally I, I got this um that's me that's me um EQ box from Ukraine, quite a good little box, quite um, quite good fun. And and there's the uh, the seven seven sixty. And I'll say it's on. FM, I get you. There you go. But I put it on FM so you could see me key up to a kilowatt. So there you go. Um, early days, very nice bit of kit. Obviously, once I get upstairs, those two are going to go under the bench, but not on the floor, but on a shelf out the way and um, I'll have more operating space on the bench and I say half my kits upstairs and, and half of it's down here. Okay, so uh, a great deal from Radio World on the 7760, great part exchange. They beat any other dealer and in some cases by a thousand pounds. And I had a great PX deal on my old amp and, and some equipment on the PW2, which enabled me to buy it and uh, no other dealer could get close. So thank you, Radio World. And um, there you go. A very happy Radio Ham today. 73.